Before any of this could happen, before women could show their face in government. She is important because she started the children's movement. You know who I mean, Daisy Bates. There was a small group of women in 1924 in a little town in Arkansas who paved the way. Nebo was actually uh, chartered as a state park in 1927 and became a state park in 1928. That makes us the second oldest state park in Arkansas. Mount Nebo, during that period of time, had been a large resort area. It was a very popular destination already for people to come and visit in the early part of the century. Mrs. Judy Hamburg Prince was born early in the century up here and she lived most of her life on the mountain and we've got lots of recordings of her and documentation of her memories. We still have her writings and she wrote her memories of the, the women uh, governing Mount Nebo. She wrote her uh, memories about that down for us and we're really fortunate to have those. During the 20s, ERA hit Nebo. The women decided they could do a better job, that the city administration needed cleaning up. Not only did they win the election, but they accomplished all the things they had asked the former administration to do. Women had only really gained the right to vote around 1920 with the 19th Amendment. So 1924 was not a very long time to affect social change. So what these women did was very gutsy. It, it took a lot of courage uh, to, to do so but they saw a need. Um, they saw that, you know, their perception was that the men folk weren't doing the job and they ran against husbands and fathers and brothers. Miss Jessie McRae went against her brother Henry McRae and won. Miss R.C. Cunningham went against her husband and won. Miss L.E. Love went against her husband Dr. Love and won. Miss John Croon went against her husband and one. And Ms. T. R. Cornwell went against her husband and won. And uh, people that were up on Evo said, hey, they're running things already and voted for them and voted them all in. And they were the first all-female city government in Arkansas. And by all accounts, they did a very good job. They made many improvements to uh, the roads and uh, mosquito control and, you know, tidying the place up. And they did a good job. And, and completed a lot of projects, but those women stuck to their guns and completed their entire four years as council members, and that was a very gutsy move for the time. None of this could have happened, and none of this could be born into existence if it weren't for the women on Mount Nebo. Because of the all-women government in 1924, they paved the way for women to be able to be in the government so they could continue to do greatness, and who knows what else we'll see, who knows what else could happen.